So to get this body contrast started, we're going to grab our category three yarn, make a slip knot, grab our three and a half millimeter hook, and then we're going to measure right underneath our bust. And whatever that measurement is, we're going to make a chain that's that long. And for me, I'm going to make a chain for 10 inches. And I am using a three and a half millimeter hook instead of the recommended four millimeter hook. And that's just because I want my stitches to be a little bit tighter since this is going to be a tighter dress already. But you guys can use whatever hook you like. Go ahead and just follow the measurements. Once when you have your chain, you're going to block off that last chain. Go ahead and chain up three. Prepare for a double crochet. This counts as a double crochet. And from here, we're going to insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the fourth loop from the hook with a double crochet. And then from here, double crochet once into every loop going back down our chain. And once we have our first row of double crochet, we're going to start increasing on the ends. So we're going to chain up three, flip our work, prepare for a double crochet. We're going to insert our hook once into the same loop that we're in. And then from here, we're going to double crochet once into every loop that we have going all the way down. Leaving the last loop because we're going to do an increase in there as well. So we've double crocheted once into every loop that we have and we left our last loop like I said and we're going to do an increase. So we're just going to prepare for a double crochet and put two double crochet into that last loop. And that is what we should have. And then we're doing increases on the side because this is starting underneath the bust and we're going to need it to expand out a little bit for our hips. And from here, we're going to keep doing rows where we do increases on the ends. And I'm going to keep going until I have six and a half inches. So we are back and I know that this isn't the six and a half inches that I told you guys to do, but I cheated just a little bit for video sake because otherwise we'd be sitting here all day. But I already made the majority of my skirt. And then from here, this is the six and a half that I was talking about. So we started here with our 10 inches and then we did increases on each end until we got to six and a half. And that's just where mine ends. Yours can obviously be longer, shorter, whatever you guys want. But we're basically going to end it at our lower back if you want it that low. And then from here, we're going to measure out what we have from our base that we have. And I had 15 and a half inches. And then this does need to fit over the widest part of your hips. So you're also going to measure that. And mine is 34 inches so all I'm gonna do is subtract 34 inches with 15 and a half and then whatever that is I'm going to make a chain that wraps around so that that can fit around my hips if what I explained to you doesn't make sense go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will try to explain it even better but from there once we know what measurement we have to wrap around I'm just gonna show you with this little guy that I made so for example, this is the base of what we have. So this is the bottom of the six and a half inches. And from here, whatever measurement we need, we're just going to make our chain that length. And for example, just say that this is the length that we need. All we're gonna do is connect it to the other side with a slip stitch and chain up one to secure. And this is what we should have. This is a baby version of what we have right here. But once we have this, all we're gonna do is chain up three this counts as a double crochet. Go ahead and prepare for a double crochet. And then from here, we're going to double crochet once into every loop that we have. Once we make it all the way around, connect with a slip stitch, and then we're going to chain up three. And we're going to keep doing this right before we start tapering. So I'm going to have a solid block of seven inches of just regular double crochet. So this is what we got so far. We have a total of a little over seven inches and now we're going to start tapering it in. So once when we get here, we're going to start decreasing on the ends and we're going to do those twice and there's not going to be a number pattern. So from here, we're going to chain up three and then we're just going to eyeball where the sides are and then I'm just going to put one double crochet into the next loop and then we're going to do one decrease. So we're going to yarn over insert our hook yarn over pull through one insert our hook through the second one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three and then yarn over pull through two and that is one decrease and once we have one decrease we're going to do one more on this side so we're just going to separate the decreases with one double crochet so we're going to put one double crochet next to our first decrease and then we're going to do one more right next to it so prepare for a double crochet yarn over pull through pull through the loop in through the second loop, yarn over, pull through there, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
And then once we have this, if we lay our work down flat, our decrease is going to be on one side, and then we're going to double crochet once into every loop that we have, and then we're going to do another decrease on this side, and then going back, we're going to do double crochets and then connect with a slip stitch like we've been doing. And from here, we're just going to keep doing this pattern until we get the size that we want. So this is what we have once when we're done with the entire body portion. From here to here, it is my skirt, and I have 11 inches, and for that little decrease section that I had, I had three and a half. And so from here we can go ahead and cut and tie the bottom and then we're going to start working on the top so now we're going to start working on the top portion and those top portions are just triangles and from here we need to figure out where the middle is and i have already done that i'm going to insert my hook into that middle loop take out my marker i'm going to grab my yarn make a slip knot insert that onto our hook and from here we're going to chain up three this counts as a double crochet. We're going to put one double crochet into every loop that we have going back down. And once we put one double crochet all the way down, we're going to start working on the taper. And how we do that is just do rows of double crochet that decrease. So we're going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. Flip our work. And then we're going to decrease into the first two loops. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet. Insert our hook into the first loop. Yarn over, pull through. Insert our hook into the second loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, pull through two. And that is our first decrease and we're going to double crochet once into every loop leaving the last three loops so that we can do another decrease and we left three loops like i said so we're going to do a decrease into the next two loops so go ahead and yarn over insert a hook into the first loop yarn over pull through insert a hook into the second loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through two and then put one double crochet into the last loop that we have and then we're going to start working on the rest of the cup. So go ahead and keep doing double crochets with decreases on the end until it tapers all the way up. And then once we have one side done, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So as you can see, we're done with both cups. And at this point, you're going to want to try this on. And then you're going to take a tape measure and then go from one tip of the cup to the next, going behind your neck to see where you want your hood to be. But I will say that if you don't want a hood, you can completely end it here and just do the back straps. But if you want to do that, I'll go ahead and link that in the description. But from here, I've already measured out where I want my hood. So I'm going to insert my hook into one of the corners of this cup. And I'm going to make a chain of 18 inches. And once we've done our chain, I went ahead and slip stitched it to the other peak of the other cup. And now we're going to start to do the hood. And in order to do that, we're going to need to measure out from the peak of the cup one inch into the chain. So I already measured mine out. Mine is about right here. We're going to take our yarn, make a slip knot, insert that onto our hook, and then we're going to make a chain of three. That counts as a double crochet. And then we're going to be putting one double crochet into every loop that we have all the way down our chain. And then we're going to put double crochets all the way until we have one inch in between the last double crochet and then this peak. Once we've done our first row of double crochet, now we're going to do a row of increase for this row and the row after this. So what we're going to do is chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. Flip our work. And we're going to be double crocheting once into the next nine loops and then increasing into the tenth. So I just done my nine double crochet into the nine loops that we had. And now we're at the tenth. We're going to do an increase. So go ahead and yarn over. Put one double crochet into that tenth loop. And then yarn over. Put one more double crochet into that tenth loop. And this is our increase. And then we're going to keep doing this increase for the rest of this row, once we get to the end, chain up three, and then we're going to increase for one more row. And once we have our three rows, the first one was double crochet, the next two were increases into the tenth loop. And then once we have these guys, we're just going to put one double crochet into every loop going all the way around. Once we get around, chain up three, and then keep going back and forth until you get the height that you need for your hood. So this is our hood. It doesn't look like much now, but from bottom, all the way to the top, I have 14 inches. And then from here, all we need to do is connect it. So how we do that is that we're actually going to open the hood up and this is going to be the inside. And how we're going to connect it is we're gonna take the two corners and we're gonna flip them on top of each other. We're going to go through the bottom and then pull this through. And then we're gonna connect with a single crochet. So once when we have our seam done, once we flip it inside out, the seam's gonna be on the inside. But once we figure out which way we gotta fold it, 
we're going to insert our hook into one corner and then insert our hook into the next corner and then we're just going to yarn over pull through two and from here we're going to insert our hook into the first loop from one side of the hood and then insert our hook into the second loop and then connect with a single crochet and then we're going to keep single crocheting all the way down until we get to the end once when you get to the end go ahead and cut and tie so once when we single crochet all the way through we're just going to flip this inside out and then this is our hood and from here we're going to start working on the border of the hood so we're going to turn our work and we're going to insert our hook into the next loop that we have right next to where the hood starts into that chain so this is where the hood starts this is the next loop go ahead and insert your hook grab our yarn make a slip knot and then from here we're just going to pull through and then we're going to be putting two double crochet into each of these side double crochets all the way down once we get down here we're going to slip stitch into the next loop right next to the hood and then we're going to do one more row but i'll show you how to do that once when we get here so we've done one row of single crochet all the way down and we're just going to slip stitch it into this chain just like how we started it off and then we're going to be doing one more row of single crochet so we're going to go into the next loop into this chain with a slip stitch just to work our chain up we're going to flip our work and then we're going to be putting one single crochet into every loop that we have going back down and then connect with a slip stitch down here and don't mind this this will come in later i cheated and i did that yesterday but <laughs> slip stitch once when we get down to this chain so this is what our hood looks like once when we have our two rows of single crochet i slip stitched it into the next loop that i had into this chain just like how we started and from here we're going to start working on the edges i already have one edge done as you can see it's just two rows of single crochet so we're going to work on the other one so I'm going to start this off on the bottom half, like right where the lower back starts. And from here, I'm going to insert my hook into the first loop that I have that's right next to where the body portion starts. So this is the loop that it's in, and this is the next loop that's available. So I'm going to insert my hook into that loop, grab a yarn, make a slip knot, and pull this through. And from here, we're going to be putting two single crochet into each of these side double crochets. And then once when you get to the top, we're going to connect with a slip stitch, but I'll show you how to do that once when we get there. Once we've done our first row of single crochet all the way down, we're going to connect to this chain that connects to the hood with a slip stitch. So we're going to look for the next available loop and insert your hook with a slip stitch. And from here, we're going to go into the next loop going up that chain again, just to work our way to get ourselves to the next row. And from here, flip our work and then put one row of single crochet all the way down. And then we're going to connect into this next loop with a slip stitch once we get down here. And once we have our two edges done with two rows of single crochet each, now we're going to start working into the middle V portion. So I'm sure you guys can guess, but we're going to go into one of the chains that connects to the hood. It doesn't matter which one. And we're just going to insert our hook into that next available loop, make a slip knot, insert that onto our hook, and then we're going to be putting two single crochets into each of these side double crochets. But once we get to the middle, we're going to be doing a decrease just to keep the V portion, but I'll show you how to do that once we get there. So this is where we're currently at. We're still working on our first row of single crochet and we left one side double crochet left. So what we're gonna do from here is put two single crochet into that last side double crochet. And then we're gonna be doing a decrease of three. So we're gonna be putting one partial single crochet into the same loop that we're in. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through. And then we're not gonna finish this off. We're gonna yarn over, pull through, and then insert our hook into the middle into where the body portion is and then we're going to turn our work a little bit more and then we're going to finish off this decrease of three into this side double crochet that we have down here so insert our hook yarn over pull through we should have four on our hook yarn over pull through all four and that's how we do the v portion and then from here, continue doing two single crochet into each of these side double crochets. Once we get to the end, we're going to slip stitch into this chain. And then we're going to do one more row. So we're going to slip stitch one chain up. One more row of single crochet with a decrease of three in the middle. And then single crochet into every loop over here. And then connect on the side with a slip stitch and cut and tie. And this is what our dress should be looking like once we have our two rows of single crochet along the edges and within the V. 
And then now we're going to start working on our neck slash back strap. So from here, we're just going to take our yarn, make a slip knot, and then right where this point meets, we're just going to insert our hook, insert our yarn onto the hook, and we're just going to make a regular schmegular chain. And this depends on you. Mine is going to be a little bit longer, and I'm going to make my chain 65 inches. And this is what we have. I already went ahead and did both of my back straps, and then we're just going to tuck this away. And then the last thing that we have to do is make this lower back strap is what I'm going to call it. But basically, once we make it, we're going to weave it in and out of these ends. And then we're going to tie it just to get this to cinch into our lower back because this is a little bit loose. And then if you guys are worried about having a bow hanging out the end, if you don't want that, then I'll show you how to not have that. But it's basically just tucking the bow on the inside instead of having it on the outside. But y'all can, you know, do whatever y'all want to do with that. But from here, we're just going to take a look at this side and then right where these single crochet start there's going to be one double crochet that's you know kind of in the middle we're just going to insert our hook right behind that double crochet post grab our yarn insert that onto our hook and then from here i'm going to make a chain of 25 because i feel like that's long enough to reach all the way around but y'all can make this as long as you need so once we have our lower back straps done, I'm just going to show you guys how to weave it in, but I'm sure you guys already know. But I'm just going to be weaving this in and out of every three double crochet until we get to the middle. And I'm not going to have a, you know, distinct middle. I'm just going to eyeball it. And then this is what we have. So it's in and out of every three. And then as you can see, this is kind of the middle. And then this is going to be up to you guys, however you guys decide to wear it. If you guys want the bow to be on the outside, then go ahead and leave it like this. But, I mean, it's going to be the same thing. Since I don't have another set of three that I would like to put this in, so I'm just going to skip one. Just tuck this in. And then once when you wear it, you're going to secure it by tying a bow with both strings. But then we're just going to tuck this on the inside so that you don't see it. Yeah, makes sense. Kind of, It makes sense to me. If it doesn't, or if you guys have a better way of, you know, doing this section, let me know because I'm always down to learn. But with that being said, we are pretty much done. The only thing that we have to do is weave in the ends. And this is our dress once we're done weaving in all those ends. I got this as a request on Instagram, and that's at tcddiybtdubs. But I loved it instantly because I knew that I was able to put a hood on it. And I'm so happy with the way this turned out. It's very sporty spice. At least I feel that way. If you guys feel that way, let me know in the comments. If you like this piece or any other piece on the channel, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. It's right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the videos and it goes a long way to helping the channel grow and gain traction. But if you didn't like it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs down and leave a comment letting me know why you didn't like it. Or if you have questions, requests, or if you just want to say hi. I usually reply pretty quick. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's right beneath the video. It'll let you know when a new video is uploaded to the channel, get a bit more priority for requests, and it goes a long way to helping the channel grow so I can keep making great videos for you guys. Links to the yarn and hooks will be in the description if you guys buy something that also goes to helping out the channel. And lastly, my Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.